Hi, I'm Matt Gaff. And I'm John Wakeman. And this is the Stones Hill Community Church Events Podcast. Uh, right now we're going to kind of talk about the events going on for the month of uh, November and a little bit of December and a little bit on farther out. Um, first thing we want to talk about is the very important Operation uh, Christmas Child. Those boxes need to be in by this Sunday, uh, preferably before the service starts at 10 a.m. I believe they're going to, I think we're going to pray over them and then they're going to load them up. So, yeah, I believe Joey's going to be doing a little prayer. We're going to pray over all the boxes. We'll load them up and get them out to all the children. Um, we got uh, some things coming up. We have... Next Sunday, November 7th, 19th, excuse me, um, Ashley Kendall and Allison Mead will have a sign up in the West Lobby for the Ladies Book Angel Christmas Craft. Um, that's going to be on December 1st at 6 p.m., but if you are interested, there will be a sign up sheet in the West Lobby, and it, the cost for this is $5 and no skill required. And any questions, see Ashley or Allison. Awesome. That sounds like a good night, too. Yeah. Um, we also want to remind everyone that March 1st and 2nd, I know that's a little ways out, but we want uh, everyone to be able to plan. That is when Crave is going to happen. So that's a Friday and Saturday. Uh, we'll leave the church here on a Friday night, head over to Quaker Haven. We're going to spend the night, uh, Friday night, and then Saturday night is when the parents and everybody is welcome to come. We do a, a nice little ceremony. We show some uh, slides of things that went on during there. Can't go into great detail about what's going on. It's kind of top secret right now. Still planning a little bit, but March 1st and 2nd, that should be a, a really great, fun trip. Do we get to do anything of the top secret like we did last year? Possibly. Ooh. There, I can't say. Definitely looking forward to that. <laughs> uh, some other dates for the Rock Solid here. Um, we got on the Mondays at 7.45, at West Noble High School for the students in room 510, there are, is a prayer. Uh, they're doing that every Monday. Um, also, the week of Thanksgiving, there will be no rock solid or Awana that week. Um, another event to see here on the 29th, we have the Unite Worship Night at the Crosswalk here in Legonier. That is at 6 p.m. Uh, getting into December, just I know it's a little ways out there, but we'll just kind of keep everybody informed. Uh, the ARC trip is going to be the 7th and 8th of December. Looking forward to that. That's going to be a good time. Yeah, especially over Christmas time. The lights will be up. Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's really a, a spectacular thing to see. That it's, will be pretty cool. Um, then more details to come on the Progressive Dinner on the 16th of December. And then there is the Unite Christmas Party, again, at the Crosswalk on the 20th of December. And there will be more details to come on that one, too. So, and then Christmas break will be the week of Christmas. So looking forward to it. we got a bunch of stuff going on for the Rock Solid kids and, yes. the, and the families. Yep. And over the Christmas break, obviously no Rock Solid or uh, Awana on that Wednesday as well with the break happening. We want to give everyone a chance to kind of be with their family and, and enjoy the holidays and remember the reason for the season. Yep. So. Um, so this, this week, uh, we're going to uh, not necessarily wrap up with Titus. I believe Titus has a couple more weeks to go. Um, but uh, if you missed last Sunday's sermon, uh, we started over at chapter 1, talking about uh, some of the qualifications for not only an elder, but for uh, a father of a family, for a young person, and then also for uh, the mother and, and for other things too. Um, a really great list, you know, uh, some of the things... You want to do is like be hospitable, be self-controlled, uh, righteous, holy, disciplined. A lot of things that you hear, um, but not necessarily put into action. And I, I think it was a really good checklist and, and what he's saying, blueprint yeah, for our was, family. It was a it was a great sermon. Um, and some of your thoughts about that too? I yeah, I would just say I took away a lot from the sermon. Joey did a really good job of breaking down the blueprint of it. And if you did miss Sunday and you didn't get to catch it, you can always go back on Facebook. Or YouTube, and uh, check out Stones Hill Community Church. You'll be able to watch that, and or the Bible app, and look up Stones Hill. You'll be able to see Joey's notes on it. Oh yes, and, yes. You Bible know, be able to kind of see what we got going and look ahead. But yeah, definitely a good series that Joey's got going on this one. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot in there. Uh, once again, like he said, you could read Titus in about five minutes, ten if you take your time. <laughs> but um, 
it's one of those things that you, you can read it for five minutes, but you're really going to need to sit down there and really read it and study it for more than just five minutes. I mean, it's a good hour to two hour long read, just getting into so much depth and, and yeah. knowledge. It's such a small uh, uh, chapter of the, of the Bible. Yeah, I mean, definitely, you're, you're right. It's definitely a nice little book. I mean, I read it in about five or ten minutes, but you're right. To sit down, break it down, to, you know, get the full effect of it. Yeah, definitely give yourself some time to, you know, absorb it, listen to it, and be able to take away all the good points that it has to offer. Yes, yeah. And then, um, you know, once Titus is over, we're going to have a couple other guests. I know over Thanksgiving we're going to have a guest speaker. Um, and then after that, we're, we're going to go into, obviously, the season's seasonal you know message so i'm looking forward to that you know uh especially with christmas eve being on sunday so oh, that's yeah that's good. a good that's that's, that's gonna be good yeah it's another gonna be a thing great. too you know if we got you know 8 45 in the morning we still we're still doing the answers in genesis going through the yep. bible you know going through that um that's a good series that's for all ages i believe i mean they have the sunday mornings for the adults and then the kids also have equipping that are following it yes and then even the children's service during normal service they're still following Correct. the aig so definitely digging real deep into the bible and getting the kids more familiar with what's going on and trying to prepare that next generation yeah and then also talking about the weather um if you haven't signed up for or gone online and gotten the uh, our church app you definitely want to do that because with cancellations of either church or awana or rock solid uh, we send that out through notifications through the app and so if you don't have the app already, it's just our church. It's the app, our church, not Stones Hill. It's our church. <laughs> then you look in search the church, and it's Stones Hill. We're the only Stones Hill community church on there. And that application, that app allows us, when we push a notification for, say, uh, a cancellation of a class, it goes straight to your phone. And it's so much easier than trying to listen to a radio station or, or look on Facebook because we all know our feeds, it, yeah. it, it can be up there for five minutes and then all of a sudden it's, it's way at the bottom. So that, that app itself is really nice. Plus it's a mobile version of our website that has all of our knowledge that, that we're, we've just gone over on there. So, you know, it has our, um, our vision statements, all of our beliefs, um, schedules, uh, the giving as well. So yep. you can do online giving through that app. Your spiritual gift assessment. Spiritual gift assessment, that's correct, which is free. It's very nice, very quick. Um, I, think I, I think it only took me maybe 10, maybe 15 minutes to do that's all three. Right. And uh, it's a great thing to know. It tells you like where your gifts are in the church and, and how you can really pinpoint uh, your, your devotion to the church and your, your work towards the church. And then once you get that, you can get with Debbie uh, with the next steps, and she can get you plugged into like a small group or some sort of uh, uh, mission or, you know, even the stream. Guys yeah, good help out with need band help. or streaming band. or children's ministry, you know, whatever you feel your calling is. And all the stuff that we talked about, we'll make sure we put a link or some type of um, information down below here in the comments or in the uh, details section that way. You can't remember it, so you don't have to go back and rewatch the whole, whole log here. The podcast will be links below to be able to find those. Yeah, exactly. You know, and uh, once again, this, uh, this is just kind of a, uh, the first of many, hopefully, blogs. Uh, we're hoping to do one at least once a month uh, or when there's a large amount of information we want to give out. We know that some people can't always make it to church and hear the announcements, um, or they miss it in the face, you know, you're... You're logging on to Facebook or YouTube, and you, 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 you don't always get that first song, and most of the time the announcements are right there. So um, we're just trying to help uh, get that message out there a little bit quicker and smaller bite size. Yeah, just to make sure, you know, to, uh, you know, you can follow us again on Facebook, Stones Hill Community Church. You can follow uh, Mountain Movers, all from our page. Rock Solid's got it. The uh, Men's Ministry, Grief Share, all yes. of us. You can contact anybody through those. You got, we got our YouTube channel. Um, I mean, the, the church app, the, Bi the Uversion Bible yes. app. We have so many different types of way that we kind of, you know, communicate or get the message out there. And if, you're, if you do go to YouTube, which if, as far as um, on a technical standpoint, 
YouTube is probably the better uh, option to view if you're going to watch from home. Um, it's a little bit better resolution. It's a little bit easier to stream. If you would happen to hit that like and then subscribe, anytime we do a service, you'll get that notification right away, and you can just pop it up on your TV, phone, you know, however you view it. Um, but if you could subscribe and like to Mountain Movers and Rock Solid and, and the church, YouTube and Facebook, that would really help us out. Yeah, that's a good point, Matt. So, yeah, with that being said, uh, this, I think, I think we covered quite a bit of information for the upcoming months here to get everybody aware. So I think, um, if, again, if there's any questions, you can always find somebody here at the church, reach out, and we'll be able to answer any questions that we can and guide anybody where they need to go to get the, you know, the correct answer. Yeah. So. Okay, well, that'll do it for this uh, episode of the podcast. I'm Matt. I'm John. And we'll see you next time.